Hey, what's up? Peace and blessings. I'm Giovanna, the Spiritual Love Coach. It is thundering here in North Carolina, so you may hear some of that in the background. But I wanted to um, answer a question that I received in my DMs on Instagram from a woman who had connected with a guy on Instagram. I guess he, you know, was liking a lot of her pictures. They kind of like been chatting back and forth. So she asked if um, they could meet and he said he was busy. So that's just the backstory. Now, it can mean a lot of things when someone likes your pictures on Instagram. And really I wanted to address this, like just talking about social media as a whole, not necessarily just the question that I received because a lot of us have so much of our energy and feelings tied into social media. And the other night after yoga, we were even talking about like social media within relationships. Like it's, it's a lot. And these are things that we really have to be aware of. So here's the thing, social media, it's just a platform to connect with people, right? It's not necessarily a dating platform, but yes, you can like really make some connections with people through social media. It's a window into someone's world, whatever it is that they want you to see. Um, but we also have to be mindful that it is just social media and it is a platform, especially Instagram, it is a visual platform where the whole purpose is to like stuff that you like and comment if you feel you know that something needs to be said right so if and i've heard this before so it's not just this woman who has the same concern so that's really another reason why i was like let me just kind of record a video because i hear this a lot well he likes a lot of my pictures so what does that mean sometimes it really doesn't mean anything sometimes it means like they just like your pictures um it might mean they think you're pretty. It might mean they think you're funny. It might mean, wow, that picture has really great composition. It might mean I'm just scrolling through, hitting like on all of the things that I like. It could be their toddler has their phone because sometimes Savvy will have my phone and she just likes to hit the heart. And I'm like, we we can't like everything that's on Instagram. Some of this stuff, like, no, I don't want it attached to my account. So it can mean a lot of things, but we will never know unless we like specifically ask that individual and they tell us. So with that being said, we can't really put a lot into it, okay? Now it's different if this person has expressed interest in you, vice versa, maybe you guys have exchanged information and you're talking offline and you are you know making a more real world connection with that person then that's completely different but we can't just make assumptions or you know drive ourselves crazy trying to figure out well what does it mean because he's liking a lot of my pictures he could possibly like a lot of people's pictures both men and women it might mean he just really loves Instagram and likes showing people that he likes what's happening in their lives so it's really and it's it's challenging right because Social media has become such a humongous part of our lives. It is like a part of our relationships as well. Like, are we gonna be that, you know, social media couple where we're posting our relationship on social media? What do you do if you want to be that social media couple and you want to like do all the ussies and have your relationship documented via social media and your partner does not? What do you do when someone comes in with the heart eyes or is like, hey, sexy to your significant other on social media, right? These are all things that really need to be considered. And it's funny because I hadn't really thought about it because I don't view social media in that way. And I'm not that like personal on there to begin with. So it is something that going forward in a new relationship, that I would need to figure out. Also, I'm kind of old school too, so I prefer like in-person face-to-face, but then like, how do we navigate in the world where other people can see our lives and it appears that we are separate? A whole nother dynamic that is really worth exploring. But back to the topic at hand, 
So in regards to the thing about rejection or when you reach out to someone and they don't respond directly or maybe they say they're busy. So here's the thing. When it comes to messaging someone on social media and maybe they don't respond right away but you see them like they're posting, they're liking stuff, we cannot take that personally because first of all, they could have like a scheduler that's posting and liking things for them. Secondly, we are not obligated to respond right away. And I know that I have like for like a couple months and it was absolutely amazing. I turned my notifications off to everything. I um, blocked Facebook Messenger because it was like just, it was too much going on. People sending me forward this to get to heaven. And I'm like, that don't even work that way. Just stuff that I was just like, this is too much. I needed the, the noise off so that I could focus. So I turned off my notification. So yeah, I could go into my account, but I don't know that you messaged me because I didn't get a notification and I did not check. Some people may have a schedule when they say, okay, like on this day at this time, this is when I'll go in and check my DMs. Or maybe they just didn't know how to respond. Maybe they didn't want to communicate with people. They just wanted to experience the platform. So we can't have that expectation where just because we have access to people doesn't mean that you know we need to expect them to respond right away or that you know they should respond right away or any of those things we have to remember that like sometimes we just need a minute maybe we just need to process and really understand what's going on before like responding to something so really be gracious and don't take it as you are being ignored or disrespected because someone doesn't get to you right away. The other thing is, let's talk about this, like rejection. So you shoot your shot and someone's like, oh, I can't, I'm busy. Or, no, I'm not interested. Something basically that you did not wanna hear. It's not always rejection. And here's the thing that I had to explain in this particular case because it wasn't like, I don't like you because, or I don't wanna meet you. It was not personalized. So because they said they were busy, then maybe they really were busy. And so we can't start to take things personal because there's no need to, especially in that case. If they said they're busy, they might just honestly be busy and they don't, have time to navigate within their situation and that's totally fine but what's happening is because we see people on social media because oh well they got time to be on Instagram or they got time to be on Facebook but they can't call me they can't respond to my message they didn't like this picture we start to internalize everything that happens because we can see what somebody's doing online and we can't do that that will drive us crazy. Social media anxiety, social media depression, where you get in a state where you just feel glum and bad and self-conscious and unmotivated. You think like it, that is real because it's affecting our mind and emotions. Again, that's a whole nother topic. So if someone says that they are busy, leave it at that. They're busy, okay. Life is busy, things happen, but that's not rejection. That's not rejection. Rejection is I don't like you because your head is big or you got, you know, whatever's going on with your hair. I don't like the way you dress, your breath stinks, or I don't want to get to know you. When it's personalized, when there's like a you involved and it's something about you that they are saying no to, that's more along the lines of rejection than someone saying I'm busy. Yes, we do take that personal because like, how dare you not make space in your life for me because I'm fabulous, okay? Like you would be lucky to get time with me because I am all that and a bag of chips. Matter of fact, I'm all that in the whole store. So yeah, we can take that personally, but we, we need to not do that, okay? We can't do that because one day you're going to be busy and we don't think about it when it's the other person and they're like, hey, you know, I want to meet up with you. And you're like, oh, I'm busy. And you go on about your day. So we have to stay in a mind state where if someone says no, let's not see that as rejection. Let's just see it as, okay, 
it didn't happen this time, especially like if someone's busy. Maybe in the future they won't be busy. So that's a great thing. But if it is a true rejection where they're like, no, I'm not interested in you. I don't want to pursue a friendship. I don't want to pursue a relationship. Be okay with that. Because if they don't like you like that, the that's fantastic. Because the worst thing that a person could do is string you along or pretend to genuinely care about you and like you and drain you emotionally physically mentally spiritually financially so when someone's like i'm not interested i don't like you thank you <laughs> i'm so grateful that you did not waste my time i am so grateful that you did not drag me through the mud and let's go on about our business so when it comes to social media we have to have some clear boundaries and expectations about what it is what it's intended for I like a lot of stuff on fake on um, Instagram but there's a whole lot more stuff that I don't like and it's not because I don't necessarily like the picture I just don't got time to keep hitting the like button and some stuff that I like is not stuff that's in alignment with my account so I can look at all the funny ratchet stuff and nobody knows right so, and even if I do go on and I like a guy's pictures, that doesn't mean I like him. It means I like the content that he is sharing on his page. And that's it. Like, that is it. That's it. So let's not get to a place where we're interpreting likes on a social media platform for more than what it is now if that person then slides in your dm and is like hey you know i saw you looking real cute you posted this picture like i want to get that's different they have then expressed an interest in you outside of just hitting the like button and again if a guy or a female is all up like doo -doo 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 -doo, just lighting your notifications up it could mean that they're interested but you will not know unless you have that conversation. So somebody has to take that first step and say, well, hey, I noticed you liked a lot of my pictures. Is there, you know, something going on? Are you, do you want to get to know each other? Or that person will, like somebody has to say something. If there's no communication, there is no clarity. So unless that is communicated, if don't assume or take on that burden of trying to like figure it out and interpret likes to try to figure out like what does that mean and you will drive yourself bananas seriously so see social media for what it is it's a way to connect with people it's a way to socialize it's a way to share some of your life or all of your life whatever you choose with the world but don't let it manipulate you in a way that it makes you become vulnerable, that it makes you question yourself and things like that. So social media is a really, really beautiful thing. And um, because at first I was kind of anti-social media, I was like, oh, I don't know, la, 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 la. But it's about your intent and it's about how you use it, what you're putting out, what you're exposing yourself to. Because again, everything is energy. Um, and I've been reading this book called Social Media for the New Age, which truly resonates with my spirit right now. Um, and it's just making me more mindful about how I come across on social media and the things that I want to be exposed to on there. And it's funny because I tried to answer this question before and it kept coming off as really condescending in a way like, and I was like, no, like I don't know what the energy was behind that so it's like let me take a step away and then i'll come back to it when i feel like i'm in a better space to you know do this from a place of love where it's not coming across as like me like i don't know like feeling kind of icky i just i didn't like the energy that was coming out behind it again like there's no shade or anything like that because it's very easy for us to get caught up in the social media of um, and trying to figure things out not everybody thinks the way that I do and not everybody see things the way that I see them so I'm really grateful for the young lady who had the courage to be like hey this is what's going on can you please give me some advice and um, and I was glad that I did that because it helped me to see inside as to what other people are thinking especially because I have 
I have a little girl, right? Well, a teenager. <laughs> and so, like, this is stuff I, you know, I talk to her about, like, social media, and she understands that. But imagine if you are a child or, you know, a teenager, young adult, and in your mind, like, social media is real in a sense that those likes have all of the meaning in the world. And so like as adults, having that mindset, right? Like, so it's important for us to understand what social media is and how to go about using it to still like connect on a human level so that we don't get caught up in the behind the scenes. Like, because how easy would it have been to just ask that person the question, right? Hey, I see you keep liking all of my pictures. What's going on? I'd like to get to know you better. Like, what is it that, like, how easy is it to have that conversation? But it's not because there's so much fear and anxiety and our minds start thinking all of these thoughts and we're like, oh my gosh. So like, I totally commend anyone who is in that space and they're like, I need someone else. I need some help. Like somebody talk to me about this. So I just really wanted to put that message out there because that is something that's going on for not even just adults, but like I was just thinking like, what about children? They are growing up in this social media era. So like for them, like social media is a life. I didn't grow up in that era and I learned to like adopt social media. I got to watch the birth of social media. Twitter was the very first platform that I was on. Well, wait, that might be a lie because MySpace. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Twitter, I've been on Twitter the absolute longest, I do believe. And I've been on Facebook, deleted Facebook, came back to Facebook, probably deleted it again, not sure. But um, really being able to navigate life and love in the age of social media is really important. If you ever get to the place where you start feeling like uh, doubting yourself or feeling that envy and like you're just scrolling like for days and days, take a break from social media. Seriously, it is good for your eyes. It's good for your mind. It's good for your soul. It is good for your body. Go for a walk, do something, phone a friend, like get on the phone with a friend, go out and physically meet with a friend, do something to reconnect with people. Because I think what happens is we're behind screens so much that we forget how to communicate. And I don't want us to do that because my job as the spiritual love coach is to illuminate, to nurture and to inspire spiritual love in the hearts and minds of others. And so that's all about connection. It's all about unity, compassion, compromise, and coming from a place of love in everything that we do. Um, and when we can do that, then having conversations won't be so scary. So that was my little um, <laughs> spiel on what do these likes mean? <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed this conversation, I would love to invite you in to the Spiritual Love Circle. Um, the Spiritual Love Circle will be expanding and I'm going to be opening a co-ed group that will combine masculine and feminine energy because I initially created the Spiritual Love Circle as a sacred space for women, um, especially those who might have dealt with toxic, unhealthy, abusive relationships. But I also know that there are a lot of men who also need the work that I do. And so I really wanted to expand. So I'm going to be opening a second group where we can co-mingle and chit-chat about love and life. So I hope you join me there and have a magical day. Peace.